Howdy. Welcome to you pretty people out there. This is Dory. Welcome to the second part of the video, number two here. We're going to talk a little bit about haircuts, talk a little bit about shampoos, and finally talk about some oils. Um, like you see, I like to wear little fedora hats. I uh, like to wear scarves. These are things that part of the accessory. We'll talk about them later on as we go along to make you also feel pretty. I don't want to just do things for the skin and for your hair and for your well-being, but I can also help you look self-confidence and make you look good. A simple hat. Sometimes I don't want to go outside. It's raining and bam, I just put a hat. But hello. I don't want to get my hair wet. Okay. So anyway, let me get started. Cuts. Guys, everybody out there, communicate with your stylist. Stylist, you should make sure to know and let them know what you want. Don't tell them you want two inches, three inches, and you don't know what inches are about. Communicate. What is your inch to you? Some people say it's two inches. It's not two inches. Okay. Um, so communicate. That way you won't cry out there whenever they cut your hair all back. Uh, so anyway, uh, I want to share with you the type of heads that you might have. Mine is a oval round shape. You should get hairstyles that accommodate to you. I hear a lot of my clients say, well, I want this particular hairstyle. It's like, yeah, I can do that hairstyle. It's not going to look good on your, on your head. People with big foreheads, nothing wrong with that. It just means that you're extra smart. <laughs> that really is true. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, um, beautiful people anyway. But I would probably recommend something with a little bang area, you know, just little slight spangs and just kind of, see, very simple things. You don't have to do a whole lot that changes that. Uh, people with uh, smaller heads, the bob looks real good on you, okay? Talk about little bobs, you know, they look real good on you. Um, so look up there in the uh, internet. Look at the picture, take it to your stylist, and ask her, does this match my hair, my head, my everything? And she'll be honest to tell you, because she, if she has uh, years of experience, she should be able to give you a good comment on the background of what your hairstyle should look like. And if you're just one of those that wants to trim, make sure you specify how much is your inch. Is it a this inch or is it this inch? What is your inch to you? Okay. Uh, next thing I want to talk about real quick and try not to do your own haircuts. I see a lot of videos out there going wrong. I saw one the little girl. That's one of my cute ones. I laugh. My daughter and my friend sent it to me. The bangs. She did the bangs here and then she just, boom, cut it. And then she was going, oh my God, oh my God. And then it was like, poop, poop. So don't do your own haircut if you don't know. Call me. The, the number's down there subscribe i thank you if you subscribe i know i'm kind of new i just started this i'm getting this off i don't know how many years it will take i'm not trying to get famous i'm just trying to give you some tips so that you can learn i've done this for over 20 years i've had franchises and businesses so i want to give you these tips free okay um there is a uh fund me account down there that i will use eventually for my children's education because i'm a single parent uh, welcome to uh, chip in if you'd like. If not, just listen to the video and hopefully it will help you. Next thing on the uh, agenda here that we're going to do is shampoos. Oh my God, we have so many shampoos. You walk into HEB, Walmart, whatever, and you're going like, shoom, all the rows of shampoos. Which one do I get? Hmm. Uh, I'm not, I get headaches uh, with just looking at them. So uh, I particularly, uh, I've used these shampoos on and off, you know. Carotene and Prology back on and off. Okay. Uh, she, um, I alternate. If I have the greasies too much, like I told you on my first video, I put a little bit of Blue Dawn into my shampoos and you don't have to use too much and then lather it and then wash it with your shampoo. No conditioner. As I told you, I, you use a living conditioner. You can use any living conditioner. The textures, it depends on you. 
the the living conditioner is what it is there's no such a thing as textures as shampoo shampoos are for color hair for curly hair for whatever texture you have use that but the main thing of a shampoo try to read a little bit take some time no waxes not a whole lot of sulfates not a whole lot of sodiums uh if you're into animal stuff well this one doesn't uh, use testing on animals this probably um you know no waxes things like that those are simple things that you no alcohol i mean if you can read these things on your shampoo then you shouldn't be using it now i have to say when i was little how many of y'all used the suave brands hello me when i was little oh my god i love to smell that freshness of strawberry on my hair my peachy smell and i tell you what they do have a lot of alcohol but it's okay for kids to use those like johnson johnson baby shampoos and those swabs it's okay they have good hair it's okay to use them but as you get older you need to watch what you use because uh we don't have our hormones as uh, strong as we used to ladies men sometimes they get bald and stuff so watch out what you use as far as shampoos out there um let's see what else i want to tell you about that yes um so anyway do y'all remember uh i used to tell my clients uh, i used to keep them away from sam shampoos because either they were they had too much waxes y'all remember that that big shampoo commercial that uh she had long black shiny hair and she would just, just go like this it starts with a p and ends with an e you know and and it's like I would keep them away from that because it had a lot of waxes. I don't know what they do now, if they do or not, or, but they're up there. But I tell you what, I've used a swath probably about a few years back. I tell you what, they're still in the run for the money. They're 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 still making now shampoos that have keratin, and I've used them, and they're okay on the budget side. Swath and this, so you just decide what you how much you want to spend. That's up to you. Okay. Uh, both of them are going to be just as effective, uh, but like I said, that's your preference of what you want to use. Uh, next thing I want to talk about, uh, say you have some greases and you need to get going real quick. So what would I do without washing my hair? Bam. All right, there you go. Uh, mine has aloe and vitamin E. I put a little bit, don't put too much, put a little bit and just kind of flap it around and just work it in your hair okay see now and then all that goes away work as much as you want to if you get too too much into it well just blow dry it out you know or or get your work wet towel and just get it off it's not a big deal you'll survive okay so there you see so now we have fluffy back here it, you're in a quick hurry like yesterday i had to go to brunch and i had the greases today i washed them yesterday i had the greases and i put some powder because I needed to leave. And so I want to go ahead and put that um, powder real quick. Okay, so next thing I want to talk about, and of course, if you want to use this, or you can use a dollar one, or if you want to get more expensive, you can use uh, the dry shampoo. Those, you have them on the internet, Amazon, whoever. Those work as well, okay? And especially those shampoos can work for people that are allergic to all these chemicals and these things on the shampoos. That's why they make dry shampoos. And you're welcome to look those up. And they're in the internet out there. Very, very famous. I've been around for a long time. Now, let's talk about oils. Oh, my God. There are all kinds of oils out there. Shiny, whatever. Paul Mitchell, Chi, whatever. And, and, and somebody asked me, what what kind of oil should I use? I want it to shine. I want it to this. Okay, here's my secret. I've been using this for a long time. It's expensive, yeah. But um, I don't use too much. Maybe a quarter size up here. Uh, pump it all over when it's wet, just like this. I pump it, put it on a little bit, just a tad, not too much. Don't put don't put any on on up here if you don't have to. Just very little. And then put some on the back, okay? And you're ready to go. That's all you need. I won't use the ones that are clear, Paul Mitchell. I won't use the ones that are clear, chi, oils, or whatever is out there. No. This one, because why? Because it has carotene, and it's not going to leave it greasy, and it's not. It's just going to soak in with the carotene, and it's going to leave it pretty. So you don't need much. Yes, it is expensive. Now, 
Uh, I think it's like $25 a, a smaller bottle or something like that. Uh, but anyway, if you can't afford that, then let's go to plan B. I always have plan A through Z on, on my agendas of my life here. You ready? Bam. Yep. Um, H-E-B. I buy it for my daughter. She, as I told you on the first video, she has real puffy curly hair. Uh, that Her texture is uh, unruly and, and, and it helps her. And she uses it with her shampoos. Uh, she works it in with a shampoo. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want you to see, I'm not telling you to use the whole bottle. <laughs> use a portion that you can, like a shampoo portion. Don't be using it a whole lot, okay? Um, olive oil tends to work for a lot of things, and I'm gonna probably fill you in on a lot of things that I use for olive oil. I use, I use it quite a bit on a lot of things. Um, and remember, don't be cook <laughs> one tip, don't cook with this. <laughs> Buy one that you cook with because if you cook with this, this is good with salads, but don't cook with it because it turns into trans fats and then of course those are fats that you don't need. Uh, there, there is an oil that you can cook out there that is olive oil for cooking. So watch that. You can use it for salads though, and balsamics and stuff like that. Um, it's a cold pressed type of oil. Okay, so, um, those are the tips I wanted to share with you. I'm trying not to keep my videos very long. This is the second video that we talk about. On the third video, let's share some issues about brushes, how to keep them, what brush to use, what to do with them, and uh, we will talk about brushes on that. And I will probably show you a little quick few minutes, uh, get ready with a little hairstyle, probably five minutes. Uh, so you can go quickly on that. I'll start showing you some hairstyles that are quick for you. Okay, and I'll also show you on some eventually some harder ones, but they will be easy for you to do. You don't have to pay as much money. And if it goes bad and if you got a wedding, if you got to look good, then you can call my number. I appreciate you pretty people. I wish you the best. I wish you the best of luck in this new year. And uh, let's learn together and hope to see you on my third video. Thanks a lot. Peace be with you. Bye-bye.